live from studio okay never mind <laughs> okay today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to stream on the internet with your HD PVRs from Howapog um, so we require three different programs what that doesn't matter uh, three different programs um, one of which comes with your HD PVR the other um, they're freeware off the internet. Um, the two from the internet are Adobe um, Flash Media Encoder, and that's um, it's free. You can download it from the Adobe website. I'll have a link of it in the description. And the other one is something called VH Screen Cap, and I will also have a link to that in the description. Okay, now assuming that you got both of those installed correctly. We're going to want to open, we're going to want all programs, uh, HME, whatever, labs, um, VH screen cap, and then go to the config. We're going to open that, and it'll prompt you to create a new driver. Let's just do that. I don't, I don't know exactly if you can save drivers or not. Okay, so your settings should look like this. You can adjust the frame rate, but you definitely want border color black, and most of these just optimize screen quality while streaming. Frame rate, frame rate can be 30. I think the default through the HD PVR is 29.95. Um, but you guys can mess around with this. This is what we want. We want the capture. We want to click track window. We want to, um, then we want to open up our capture module for the HD PVR through um, extreme or total media extreme. Let's make it full screen. We want to go back to the screen cap. Just bring it down here. We want to click select with track window on. I want to select the playing area of the screen. You don't want to select the black area. So want to select the actual video portion. And that should be about uh, 16 by 900 I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, we can just minimize this. Minimize all of these for right now. Then we want to go and open Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. Now if you're streaming from sites like justin.tv, you're going to need to sign up for an account, and then you want to go click broadcast and download the XML file for your account. And if you just installed Adobe Flash Media Encoder, it's uh, 3.0, just download that. And then you want to go to File, open profile and open the XML file. Okay, so you get into Adobe Flash Media Encoder and depending on the quality you want, you're going to want to uh, select device VH screen cap. Do not select HD PVR. It will screw with the program. Format, I like the H.264 and then frame rate, you can change it to whatever you had before. Uh, my input size is set to 720p which is 1280 by 720 you can change it to really whatever you want um, it just really affects your streaming quality um, output size you should keep the same as the input size I would think and then bitrate um, whatever your internet can really handle you can go all the way down to 50 it'll be really crappy I like to keep it around 650 audio we don't want to worry about that right front for right now um, because we'll screw around with that later so once you've successfully loaded into uh, your profile from justin.tv hit connect and make sure it connects and then we can uh, just for uh, starting we can just try it for starts and we can go back to the interwebs go to your profile and then click on your channel and it should be streaming Actually, it should be streaming inside this area here. Yeah, there we go. So what you will normally see is this. You'll see this, this square streaming. Yeah, just like that. And 
again, you can change the bitrate to make it less laggy. And stuff like that. Um, I haven't screwed around with this on too many computers um, to get the audio to work. The audio works on mine. I don't know if it's just the type of sound card I have. Let's stop this. And um, I'm on Windows Vista, so I can just go right click recording devices. And I see at least stereo mix, which basically takes in everything that my computer hears and it will output as a, a as a device for this. So if you just enable that, you should be able to. It's right here, stereo mix. That will make it so you're playing music on your computer or the sound from your Total Media Studio, it will come out and stream live with this. I would imagine that if you cannot do stereo mix, then you could have some sort of cables going from your in and out ports or I'm sure there's some program that you can mimic a line in but this works for me and uh, yeah I guess um, so yeah let's uh, just see how this works <whistles> problem with audio capture the device oh yeah I disabled it that's okay Let's just do microphone. Oot. And it is starting. And what you would all you would do once it starts, you enlarge this and it will display that. You can go play whatever. Refresh this. Bada boom, bada bing, and it's pretty good quality. Um, it's kind of laggy sometimes. You can definitely adjust the bit rate to fit your internet connection. But yeah, that's about it. That's kind of creepy how it's going down in there. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just comment, um, or PM me or send me a message, and hopefully we can get it um, fixed. I did try to set this up on an XP computer, and it didn't work all that well, but I'd imagine that you could get it working pretty easily. But yeah, see you guys next time.